Hey, if you look up questionable authority, you'll see a lot of us on there on YouTube. <laughs> I see a lot of officers in that <laughs> They like our canine guys, especially. Questionable authority. Uh-huh. <laughs> they're, they're good. They're, <laughs> he understands the law really well. Usually the better looking girls are on the other side. Church girls. Yeah, church girls are a little, a little cleaner at least. Oh, that's on bad body cam already. I'm already in trouble. <laughs> Been here two minutes. Nice. Oh, the potatoes. You think we're throwing potatoes? Huh. I worked on a potato farm for a This is a spa right here. What's up, boys? So, you're free to walk by under the tape if you like. What are they protesting? Planned Parenthood or anti Planned Parenthood? Uh, Planned Parenthood. Both. Okay. Both. People are protesting Planned Parenthood, and then there's protesters protesting the protesters. Okay. Then there's probably some protesters who are protesting the protesters who are protesting the protesters. So it's all very difficult to understand. You, need, you kind of need a flow chart. These sides don't like one another. Okay. Seems kind of rude because there's like a home right there, right? Like, I don't know. Yes. Working on something in his car or somewhere around here, I don't know. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, the activist. Tommy, eat some? Oh, hi. Uh, well, I was just going to ask. We have a woman who uh, will walk down the sidewalk over here just after activist mommy starts to speak. And then she'll stop where she can shoot a, a video for two minutes of activist mommy. And that's all she's there to do, nothing else is to make this video of activist mommy from their side of the street and then uh, she'll leave and she'll do it from the sidewalk if, if these folks don't block her view from shooting the video. What's your question? Can we do that? Can we? And, and maybe can you block can, her view? Can, no, can, can, can we maybe have an officer standing beside her to keep them from blocking her view. No, we can't. We can't prohibit that. That's an expression of free, uh, uh, free, uh, free speech. We can't. We have no control over that. Okay. No, we cannot do that. What could happen is someone else could come up and try to step between her and and these people, and and that's that's what we're concerned about is. Uh, if an officer is standing there beside her, they won't do that. What I would suggest, this is just an idea, is get further back, even across the street or further down, and record from there, where you can actually okay. get the recording you need. You don't have to be right up on people. You have to be right okay. this close to them, because when you're right here, you're right. They can go like this with their hands, yeah. and we're not going to be able to put people's hands down and okay. stuff like that. I, I would like, as long as they don't interfere, yeah. directly interfere with your ability to record, yeah. Uh, or uh, directly interfere with your ability to exercise the right of free speech. Okay. That's, we're good to go. If they do, okay. then we'll deal with it. Put two in each end. Yeah. But just walk over there and let them know what's going to go on when these guys come over to record. Okay. Just make sure nobody, they're going to come and record outside, outside the tape on the sidewalk. They can do that. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Just make sure no one jumps or kicks her ass. Okay. Yep. Let them know. Stop talking to me! Okay, how is that? Like, I'm, I'm being really peaceful and kind. We're just and they're being hostile. But you know what's interesting about how you guys would enforce that? 
is you would arrest you would arrest me, but they're the ones being disorderly, not me. We've given you an area to, to say your piece. But see, that's not how America works. But look, if you guys give me an order, I'm gonna follow. It. So whatever you guys want me to do, that's just because we live in a tyrannical state right now. So whatever you guys want me to do, as long as you can point it out, and I'm going. Okay? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be, cause you guys an issue. So we can't. So they can stand over here as long as they're not causing issues. The second they, they start, well, issues. the second they start enticing a fight or something, it's disorderly conduct, and they'll go to jail. Hey, we want. We would rather you guys go over on the other side, what if, and I we are willing to follow those orders. Whatever orders you give, we would rather you go on the other side. If the door asks, we'd rather you go. What's your name? Uh, Sloan. Sloan. Okay. 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 Sloan. Ok
They just show for whatever, you know what I mean? It always cracks me up. Again, again, in their own crowds, they gotta like hijack somebody else's, you know? We're gonna stand with these people. Why I'm a real Thanks for being here, guys. Personality. Are these the gentlemen he's talking about? Always. I don't know, their, their shirt stuff says discipleship on it, but they showed up with Matt Shea. Well, what happened to the men in black? They just decided to move along. They're all there. They're all back over there. They're all the way over there. About 20, um, 25 came in. And about another dozen or so that were in civilian clothes. They're all there. Very easy. See the guys in the red shirts are? Yeah. They're all them all the way back. They just all came in all, one, all walking together. One big group. So right now they're just being all jesus -y and not looking like they want to fight anybody. We already know there's at least a dozen guys that I identified earlier over there in that crowd. Now these guys came in. These guys are the uh, Second Amendment right group, Liberty groups. So they're a big Second Amendment rights group. I will guarantee you. <laughs> but those guys are always on the Matt Shaker. They're always... Most of them are open to the seal, open carry me. spying on fucking Lord Kinnear and all the rest of them. I like to see how that whole, that whole thing kind of evolved, but I don't doubt it. I'd sure like to see the evidence of it first before I really, truly wholly believe that. But I didn't even hear about that. Well, that's why everybody's kind of come out publicly wanting him to resign. When's this slaughter to be done? Like seven? Uh, you know, seven... Usually 715, 730, the church is mostly out of here. So we typically wait till about 90% of them are gone. And then we don't care about these things. Hey, where did all of those horses uh, show up with uh, Matt Shea? And the last story I want to share with you is a woman who pulled in with her husband driving. And this is always so hard to watch, but she had three young children in the back of the vehicle. They had three young children and they were coming in to kill their baby. with the knowledge of the city noise ordinances. We got asked several times today about that. Well, well, you we brought that up too with Mary Miramonte. Here's the problem. Uh, Do you know anybody that's enforced in Spokane Police Department? <laughs> no. Or she. Right. We asked that. Was, no. So I remember we so had that one year we had that issue with Boca down, downtown. Yeah. Yep. 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 And he won. And he won. And he won. Right. So with this one we have to we have to let them know. We have to give them notice. Uh, we have to do public service announcements, right? Unless it's a law that we we consistently and always in, uh, have, have enforced, okay. we we do not. And we asked about that because they brought Planned Parenthood attorneys actually brought that up. Yeah, and they said, and they knew that their attorneys know this. 
you don't, we have to, we have to let everybody know. Yeah. No, that's, what, we will now start enforcing it on this date and then do public service announcements. So here's the problem. Are we just going to do it for this event? Or are we going to do it for any other event? Or are we going to do it at parties? We don't do it at parties. It's patrolling at the time to do it. No, exactly. So there's noise ordinances all night long. Right. You go to GU, you can just walk, you can drive to GU with your windows down, and you can probably have 25, 30 noise ordinance violations. Oh, yeah. Who are you going to enforce it? So are we just going to pick on them and say, well, no. And then when you drive to GU, GU this Friday night, you're going, holy fuck. Everybody's having a party. There's noise disturbances, right? Right. And then we don't do nothing. Yeah. So that's what Mary, how Mary kind of explained it to me. Okay. One thing we may have to address, so it's like at the end here, they flip, they flip the speakers wherever here and turn it up. It's like, nah, now we're, now we're verging on something else here. Let's just play instigating. Are you having a roll call? Anybody else get numbers besides me? Have girls walk up and, and hand hand you their phone number? Let's see, let's see. You got some digits? Yeah. Let's see. Well, first off, you're standing on the rock, so she assumed you were taller than you actually were. <laughs> <laughs> Is that when you I were, saw you, did you have this I pose saw you here? The hymen there, and you were like kind of feeling a little left out. No, there's no nothing way. on there. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, shotgun. Son of a bitch. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm riding in the back.